is playing a structure. But you are right about one thing, and I want to bounce it back to Bakari. You, in politics, you are what you say and do in a pattern of moments. Mm. If this president were to hold this course, he doesn't talk about impeachment. He didn't really say anything about the Democrats. Yeah, he did the thing with the handshake to Pelosi, but his character is what it is. How threatening is that to your chances of beating him? I mean, listen, I, I think that a, a few people on air before me have gotten this a little wrong um, in, in the way that they've casted the net of Donald Trump's speech tonight. I think Donald Trump was speaking to uh, Group 1 and Group 1B. Group 1 is white women. Uh, mm -hmm. Tonight he was attempting the same thing he did during the Super Bowl ad, which I found to be decently offensive, the ad with, uh, with uh, Alice Johnson. I refer to it as the I Freed a Negro ad. But he, what he's trying to do is soften himself. He's trying to soften himself so that white women in suburbs uh, actually come out and vote for him. If he gets a small bump in white women, in white college-educated women, that will go a long way. The other thing he's trying to do is suppress the black vote. I don't think that Donald Trump believes that he can actually gain a large number of black voters. He probably can gain some in the black, in, with black men. But what he's trying to do is suppress that vote. If he can drive that vote down continuously... That is a recipe to win, and he will be extremely dangerous if he does that. So, I mean, I, Donald Trump's speech tonight was geared towards that, and we talk about the system and the pattern. If he keeps up that pattern of trying to suppress the black vote and, and just do something endearing to drive the turnout of white women or, or shrink the margin in which he gets defeated, uh, you know, that's a recipe for uh, another four years of Donald Trump.